In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can iterate through a list of numbers or even names. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a single array first. All right. We've got a single set of names. So we're going to say names. OK, you can put the word array before if you want. All right. Some people do. Some people don't. But you won't be penalized for it. So we've got our a name, our array names. And I'm going to allocate those names, and we're going to go for Natalie, Alex, and let's go for Ronald. Okay, so we've got our names here. You might see them with a single, but you might see them with double. Don't panic. Now, if I need to go through those items, what I can actually do is I can use the length of this array. So one way that I might do it is I might create a for loop that goes through each of the items. Now, before I use len, I'm going to show you one way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for i is 0 to 2. And what I can do is, that's my starting position. That's where I'm ending. So what I've got here is 0, 1, 2. All right? So I've looked at previous exam papers, and I've looked at how we structure this, and we start 0, 1, 2. Now, the key thing to remember here is you're going to use this i as our index. So this is going to be our index. Now, what I'm going to do as part of this indentation here is I am going to output names. And here's where the clever bit comes in. I can put in i. That i represents, just so we can see what it looks like, will represent 0, 1, and 2. 0 to 2. So they're all the items in between that loop. So what that would do is it would output Natalie. Then the value of O goes up to 1. Then the value goes to 2. So do Natalie, for z that would be equal to 0. Then 1. Then 2. And that's how we can iterate through that. And then I can do end for. There's another way you might want to do this. But you've got to remember that when you find the length of something, so when you find the len or the length, it starts counting from 1. So it counts from one. Why is that a bad thing? Because if we counted from one, two to three, that value is going to put us out of range. And I'm going to explain why in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this little bit of code again, slightly different. All right. So we're going to say for j is zero to len of names. Now what that would do is get the length of the names, which is one, two, three. The difference between a, a len and an index is len, okay, would be three because it starts counting at one. Our index starts at zero. Now as you can see, that's three. But if I was to use j, that would go 0 to 3. So what we have to do is subtract 1 minus 1 from that list. So that value now becomes 2 again. So I can go from 0 to 2. Let me show you. So if I output names j, 
what that's going to do end for is output 0 1 2 but can you see if I did not subtract 1 from that length it would then go on to 3 so that's why we use a for loop but when we're ever using len we subtract 1 okay whenever we're using the length of that list we subtract 1 from it otherwise it ends up giving us issues so that's how to iterate through a single dimensional list so that's how to iterate through a single list some people may approach this with a while loop so I'm going to show you another way of going through this now some people might say while in fact I'm going to put i is equal to zero some people might say while i is less than in this case we've got zero one two while i is less than if you're using a while loop less than len of names so while i is less than just so you know what this value is i'm writing it in green above while i is less than three okay we're going to output names i but then we're going to increase the value of i so i is equal to i plus one and while because that's going to be i is going to be equal to zero to begin with then i plus one makes it go up to one but then is it less than three yes it is i will then become two is it less than three yes but then the next time around when it gets to three it's going to jump out the loop so it won't output it and it won't go out of range so that's how you iterate through a single array and then just going to quickly explain you don't need the minus one here because we've said less than three so it wouldn't go out of this because two is less than three okay so the only time you really need to use the minus one I would say is during a for loop or if you've got an equal to condition here you might need to change your outcome there so just be careful all right it depends on your operator here it depends on what symbol you've used here on whether you need to do the minus one okay so that's how you iterate through an array